Hi, dear students. In our previous session, we have seen different types of arguments that includes positional arguments and default arguments in detail. Okay, and in today's class, we will be looking at the remaining two keyword arguments or named arguments and variable length arguments. Okay, positional argument. What is a positional argument? Positional arguments are arguments passed to a function based on its positional order. Okay. And default argument is an argument that assumes a value if no value for the parameter is passed, no value for the argument is passed at the time of calling the function. Okay. Then keyword argument. Another term is named argument. Okay. What is a keyword argument? If there is a function with many parameters and we specify only some of them in the function call, at the time we use keyword arguments of named arguments here the meaning of keyword is parameter name okay it's simply parameter name okay so keyword arguments are used if there is a program okay with many arguments and we specify only some of them in the function call at the time we use keyword arguments of named arguments okay here the position of argument is not important okay let's see an example Duff greet message name comma m message uh, there are two parameters uh, formal parameters of course then print hello name comma message okay here is a function definition part and we have two function calling statements okay here the first is greet message name equal to vinay comma message equal to hi okay name equal to message comma name equal to vinay comma message equal to hi what will be the result name equal to vinay message equal to hi okay here we have used the concept of keyword arguments okay here name and message are the keywords and we are passing uh, what name equal to vinay and message equal to hi to the function definition part here name gets vinay and message gets hi okay and it prints hello vinay hi will be printed and let's see the second function calling greet message message equal to hi comma name equal to sonia is there any problem no problem why because uh, even though we are changing the order the position here the position is not important okay but the number of arguments is important okay so we are passing message first even though we are passing message first it passes to message because here we have specified what message okay it's not simply hi comma sonia it is message equal to hi comma name co name equal to sonia so uh, the, va the value hi it's of message it will be passed to message and name sonia sonia is the value of name that will be passed to name okay then it prints hello sonia hi okay hello sonia hi okay uh, so these are the two function calling statements of keyword arguments or named arguments here keyword means parameter name okay so in the first function calling uh, we are passing name first, message second. But in the second function calling, we are passing message first, name second. Okay? Giving the parameter name. Giving the keyword. So, there won't be any problem in changing the order. Okay? Here in keyword arguments or named arguments, the position of arguments is not important as we are giving the name of the parameter. Okay? So, this is how uh, we can uh, pass what keyword arguments to a function as we know here in the case of keyword arguments position of arguments is not important okay uh, only the number of arguments is of importance okay number of arguments must be matched if here we have what two parameters two formal parameters uh, we must have two formal uh, what actual arguments also okay here we must have two as we have two formal parameters here okay so the number of parameters should be passed what match okay number of arguments should be matched okay then we can have positional arguments and keyword arguments can be used simultaneously in a program okay but the condition is positional arguments must be used first okay positional arguments follow keyword arguments okay that is we can use positional arguments and keyword arguments in a single program simultaneously but positional arguments must be used first let's see an example 
Greet message name equal to Radhika comma good morning. Is there any problem? Yes. It is a wrong statement. It's a wrong function calling statement. Yes, we have given what? Named argument or keyword argument first. Okay. We have a rule. Positional argument. If we have any positional argument, it must be used first. Here we have a positional argument. That is what good morning is. Okay. This must be used first. Then keyword argument can be used second. Okay, how can you make it right, correct, good, great message, good morning, comma, name equal to Radhika. Okay, because when we use positional arguments and keyword arguments in a single program or in a single function calling statement, positional argument must be added first. Okay, positional arguments follow what keyword arguments. Okay, that's a rule. Okay, so it's a wrong statement. Okay, then uh, some advantages. Actually, what is a keyword argument? Keyword argument is a named argument with assign values being passed in the function calling statement. Okay. In a single statement, we can define the term keyword argument as keyword argument is a named argument with assigned value that is being passed in the function calling statement. Okay. Let's see some advantages of keyword arguments. What are the advantages? First, an important point is here we don't have to remember the position of arguments okay in the case of positional arguments we have to remember the position of arguments but here in the case of keyword arguments we don't have to what remember the position of arguments yes we give the name of the arguments okay and the second point is we do not want to specify value for all the parameters we do not we, we can specify value for only those we want to okay others will be assigned with default value okay so these are the two important advantages of using uh, keyword arguments the first is we do not want to remember the position of arguments as we give name of the arguments it can be what uh, we don't uh, give importance to position okay and the second point is we can specify value for only those we want to okay others can be assigned with default values okay let's see some variations of keyword arguments uh, we have a function fun with three formal parameters or parameters a comma b equal to 1 comma c equal to 5 okay we have three formal parameters here a b and c a is a normal one but b and c are of course default arguments default parameters okay so b with value 1 c with 5 and we are printing a b and c okay and here we have four function calling statements fun 3 fun 3 comma 7 comma 10 fun 25 comma c equal to 20 fun c equal to 20 comma a equal to 10 okay these are the these are our four function calling statements now let's see one by one first fun 3 how will it work we are passing only one value okay that the value will be passed to a okay because it follows position it is a positional argument so we have only one value the value will be passed to a and there is one question okay at least how many arguments should be passed at the time of calling the function fun how many at least that is one okay because here we have a normal formal parameter without any value so uh, if the function want to work smoothly we must have at least one okay so fun 3 when we pass 3 at the time of calling the function fun uh, that the value 3 will be assigned to a and b gets 1 and c gets 5 so the result will be 3 1 5 okay b and c are working with default values and a is working with positional value okay let's see the second example second function calling statement fun 3 comma 7 comma 10 what happens the first value is 3 then 3 will be assigned to a then 7 7 will be assigned to b now you know b is a what formal parameter having a default value 1 so that 1 will be replaced by 7 the same way c is 5 will be replaced by 10 okay so this also follow what positional argument okay 3 to a 7 to b and 10 to c so we can have we can consider these two fund 3 and fund 3 comma 7 comma 10 as examples for positional arguments okay let's see third and fourth 
from 25 comma c equal to 20 so we are passing 25 first as we know it follows positional okay so 25 will be passed to a a gets 25 and b gets what 1 its default value and c gets 20 at present we have 5 in c that 5 will be replaced by 20 okay so this is an example for keyword argument because here we have specified what the keyword the parameter name okay the concept is very simple here we have specified the name the parameter name and that is an example for that is what actually keyword argument or named argument is okay so 25 will be passed to a b gets its default value 1 and c gets what a new value 20 it c is having a default value 5 that will be replaced by uh, the new value 20 okay and the fourth one fun c equal to 20 comma a equal to 10 so c equal to we know here in the case of what keyword arguments or named arguments the position doesn't matter okay we don't give importance to position of arguments okay as we give the name so c is given first c equal to 20 so here c gets 20 now we have 5 in c so that 5 will be replaced by 20 okay then a equal to 10 a we know a is a normal variable normal parameter so a gets 10 what will be the value b it is 1 okay it's default value 1 okay so it prints what a is having 10 10 b's value is 1 then c's value is 20 so 10 1 20 will be the value of uh, what a b and c for the last function calling statements okay yeah so we can say these two statements these two function calling statements are examples for positional arguments okay because these two follows position position of arguments okay but third and fourth are examples for keyword arguments or named arguments why because here we have given the name name of the parameter c here in the third we have given c and uh, for the fourth we have given what c and a as we know the position doesn't matter here in keyword arguments okay so these are some of the variations of what keyword arguments or named arguments and the important points to remember okay in the case of default arguments we know what a non-default arguments follow default arguments okay that means uh, default uh, what default arguments must be added after a non-default argument okay it must be after a non-default argument or we can say simply uh, default argument must be added at the end okay otherwise all must be default okay all the parameters must be default all the arguments must be default okay so this is all about keyword arguments or named arguments okay let's have a quick revision keywords argument keyword arguments okay what are keyword arguments if uh, there is a function okay uh, with many parameters if there is a function with many parameters and we uh, specify only some of them in the function call at the time we use the name of the parameter other than the position okay here we give the name of the parameter other than the position okay and what do you mean by keyword it's simply parameter name here you can see c a b uh, a c okay these are the parameter names and these are what actually keywords are keyword is okay so we have seen an example greet message name comma message uh, then hello name okay and we have two function calling statements uh, in the first function calling we are passing name first and message second and in second we are passing message first and name second is there any problem no problem because we are passing what not based on the position order or position we are passing using keyword arguments okay using the name of the argument or name of the parameter so position doesn't matter okay then uh, yeah uh, we can use position arguments and keyword arguments simultaneously in a program but position arguments must be used first okay position argument follows keyword arguments okay and we have an example uh, we have a function calling uh, greet message name equal radical comma good morning it's a wrong statement because uh, here we have uh, given what keyword argument first it must not be like that okay uh, first we must add positional argument that is good morning must be added first and name comma radical must be added second okay so that's a rule here in uh, using positional arguments and keyword arguments in a single program okay at the time of using it together okay then uh, keyword arguments the definition keyword argument is a named argument okay 
with assigned value that can be uh, passed or being passed in a function calling okay keyword argument is a named argument with assigned value being passed in a function calling statement okay yeah then advantage of using uh, keyword arguments or named arguments here we don't have to remember the first point is we don't have to remember the order of the arguments the position of the arguments okay then we can specify value for only those we want to others may be getting default values we have seen number of examples others may be getting default arguments okay these are the two examples and we have seen variations variation of what keyword arguments uh, a b c uh, okay b and c are having what default values uh, with uh, one and five okay then we have four function calling statements first two fun three fun three comma seven comma ten uh, can be considered as function calling using positional argument okay because it follows position but second and what third and fourth uh, we, you can see c equal to 20 c equal to 20 a equal to 10 we have given keyword or name of the parameter so uh, third and fourth can be considered as what calling using keyword arguments okay so uh, this is all about uh, keyword arguments or named arguments and we know the points to be remember at the time of using default arguments it must be what after uh, the normal argument or at the end of the argument okay so these are some of the flexibilities in using keyword arguments and then main point is we don't have to remember the position okay as we give name of the argument the determining of uh, keyword is what parameter name okay uh, so this is all about keyword arguments of name arguments is and our next type of argument is variable length argument okay in some situations we have to pass as the name suggests we have to pass variable number of arguments to a function that's called variable length arguments okay some situations we have to pass variable number of arguments to a function and that's called variable length arguments is okay let's see an example uh, def sum of star n actually we know we implementing the concept of variable length arguments using asterisk kind okay asterisk asterisk has to precede the word variable identifier okay, the variable identifier or the parameters n and asterisk has to precede variable what identifier okay or the parameter and star n total equal to 0 for i in n uh, total equal to total plus i print sum equal to total okay so here is a function definition and we have four function calling statements sum sum of 20 sum of 20 comma 30 sum of 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 50 40 okay uh, let's see the first function calling sum we don't have any value okay so the specialty of variable length arguments is we can pass any number of arguments here we have the flexibility of adding any number of arguments including zero here we don't have any okay so it permits us to pass any number of arguments including zero zero argument plus it is stored in the form of tuple okay uh, the values are stored in the form of a tuple and for the first function calling sum we don't have any value we have zero argument okay uh, it gives us a flexibility of adding or passing any number of so we are passing zero argument at the time result will be uh, sum equal to zero okay then second function calling sum equal sum of 20 we are passing only one value so here what total gets total plus i that is uh, 20 so sum equal to 20 will be given as a result okay then third one sum of 20 comma 30 at the time 20 plus 30 50 will be the result and for the last function calling 10 20 30 40 okay at the time 100 will be the result 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 you know the working of this uh, loop and uh, loop okay yeah so these are the function calling statements okay so another important point is uh, what we will have all the manipulations all the calculations inside the function and if we do not return it using return uh, keyword or global uh, the scope will be ending or the value or the variable will be deleted and it will not be getting anymore okay it will not be available anymore for example we have a function def f1 of xy a equal to x plus by uh, b, uh, what b equal to x minus y 
return a into into that is raised to okay a raised to 2 b raised to 2 then we are passing 3 comma 2 uh, a gets 3 plus 2 5 b gets 3 minus 2 1 then return a into 2 what will be the result 25 3 plus 2 5 5 raised to 2 25 okay then uh, 1 1 raised to 2 it's 1 okay so 25 1 will be the result then we are if you are trying to access a again it results in error because it is out of the scope okay uh, here comes uh, the concept of scope rules okay it will be discussed in the coming class so uh, meaning is anything can be computed or calculated inside the function and if you are not returning it using the keyword return or as a uh, not making as global what happens is the variable will be deleted or the value will be deleted inside the function and it will not be available anymore okay so if you want to available it uh, anymore we have to go with scope rules okay scope rules of variables okay so this is all about variable length arguments is uh, variable length argument in some situations we have to pass uh, any number of or variable number of arguments to a function okay and we are using asterisk symbol and it has to precede what the variable identifier okay and uh, we have an example some uh, used to find the total uh, here we can have any number of arguments okay including zero and it is stored in the form of tuple okay so here in the first function calling we are not passing anything so it is zero zero argument okay so at the time it prints the total is zero and for the second we are passing only one value at the time it prints 20 as the result as a sum okay and for the third 20 comma 30 20 plus 30 50 will be printed as total and for the last function calling we are passing four values four arguments 10 20 30 and 40 at the time it will be what it, it will add all these values and prints 100 as a result okay uh, the speciality is we can pass any number of arguments and another important point is uh, what all the calculations or all the manipulations will be done inside the function and if we do not return it using return or global uh, the variable will be deleted uh, from inside the function itself so if you want to access it for example if you try to access a after this uh, after getting the result of the function calling f132 if you're trying to access a it will result in error okay what uh, here comes uh, the point the concept name scope rules okay it will be discussed later okay so this is all about uh, keyword arguments or named arguments and variable length arguments is so thank you for watching have a nice time take care